Solberg, and today I will be reading the devotional. About three weeks ago, I was uh, watching documentaries on the Second World War, and it was in recognition of the 75th anniversary of the uh, liberation of Europe. Watching this, I was uh, struck by the cruelty of war and the total lack of respect for life. From, re uh, from recent pastor's sermons, I started comparing this war and others uh, and humanity today versus a Christ-centered world. The wars in society today reflect Galatians 5, 19 and to 21. Now the works of the flesh are evident which are adultery, fornication, uncleanliness, lewdness, idolatry, sorcery, hatred, contentions, jealousies, outbursts of wrath, selfish ambitions, dissensions, heresies, envy, murder, drunkenness, revelries, and the like of which I tell you beforehand, just as I also told you in times past, that those who practice such things will not inherit the kingdom of God. This, for the most part, is, seems to be the world that we're living in today. What is desirable for us is a spirit-filled life directed by God, as set forth in the following passages. To have this, so we must uh, first become, become Christians and believe, as in John 3.16, that for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. And Ephesians 2, 8, 9. For by grace you have been saved, through faith, not of yourselves. It is a gift of God, not of works, lest anyone should boast. And it's true, it's so easy to fall into the trap of thinking we've done a great deal, and that the Lord will really be happy with us, but that's not the case at all. It's, it's uh, by faith, not by works. And 1 John 1, 9, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. But we still have a sin nature and we still fail, we still sin, but God is faithful to forgive our sins if we confess them. And Jesus paid the price for us. When we become Christians... We are given the Holy Spirit to develop in us the fruit of the Spirit. As in Galatians 5, 22 and 23. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Against such there is no law. This is the way the world should be. Sounds a lot better than the work of the, work of the flesh. In closing... Please pray that God's light will shine brightly through us in this dark world. God bless you.